What about collaboration and maintenance? If you've ever used Simulink, um, you may have heard of something called Simulink Projects, which is a fantastic way to collaborate and share with people. And it was actually such a successful idea or feature that we've now brought it into MATLAB. It's called MATLAB Projects. And it's really um, a way to manage your, and share your code. It has the ability to set the path and automate tasks like startup and shutdown scripts and really helps you do file management, including dependencies and the impact of file changes. So this is a great way to collaborate and share with others. And if you haven't heard of this, I, I strongly recommend you take a minute and look at it because this is something that definitely can up the communication and shareability across teams um, when you have many people touching your code. Source control has been there for a little while now, so we support both Git, both Git and Subversion. And if you work in distributed teams, this is something, again, that can really help toward uh, reducing errors and you know not doing uh, duplicate work across these things. And that's right from the MATLAB desktop, I'll say. Uh, what about the unit testing framework? So this is an X unit type style framework. Um, it allows you to develop tests and then run them as suites. These things can be implemented as scripts, functions, or class-based testing. And it, it allows you to do automatic reporting and run these uh, these tests from the MATLAB editor toolstrip as well. So if, if you're delivering code, um, and, and you know this really helps you up, up the reliability and um, understanding of as you make changes, you can continually run these tests. They do work with continuous integration servers, things like Jenkins, for example. So you can schedule these things to, to keep running all the time. And they can you know, help you track your performance over time. That's really what it's designed for. So um, good code is important, but good consistent testing is important as well. And that's what this framework enables you to do. If you work with multiple versions of MATLAB in your organization, you'll find this next thing really interesting. Uh, it's called the Code Compatibility Report. So if you bring up code, or maybe you're hesitant to upgrade MATLAB from an older version because you're not sure if something will quote unquote break, uh, the code compatibility report will look at the code you're bringing in and try to flag for you any potential issues. For example, hey, this function you're using is going to be deprecated. Use this other thing instead. So it gives you uh, a highlight for what's going on, takes you right into the documentation to show you maybe what a potential suggestion could be. And it really just helps make sure that whatever you're bringing forward is still good and you're not going to get bitten by any incompatibility issues. Uh, this just came out in 2017B, so it's a relatively new tool, but its value is huge, and it's something that customers have been asking for for a long time. So I talked about it. it'll take you right into your code and then take you to the doc as well for, uh, for the specific details of what it's talking about. 